Hi, I'm Tammy and this is Tammy's Ordinary Life and today I want to talk about our kids and schools. And fortunately for my hubby and I, we do not have kid age school school age kids anymore. Thankfully, what a relief. Um we do have an almost three year old grandson, so I don't know what the parents are gonna do with him. I don't know what my son and her are gonna do. Um, they are professors and in college, so I don't know what's gonna happen there either. But what I wanna say is, and this is what I would do today if our son was in the school age group, K through 12, possibly even college, I don't know. But that is to be an advocate for your child or your children. And by that I mean, I did not blindly wonder what they were teaching our son. I always knew the curriculum. I always knew what was being taught. I was an aware parent. Now I'm looking back now and I'm noticing that it actually must have been quite rare that I paid attention even back then to what was going on. If he had an issue at school, I was Johnny on the spot that moment. I never left the parking lot. I was right in the building that very day. I, if he had a problem with a teacher, I did not leave the school until I went in there to talk about it. We were going to fix it. So I just want to say that if I could do it and I'm just this lowly, you know, housewife, I, a stay-at-home mom, which by the way, I did way more than just stay at home and take care of the house. Um, as I've said in many videos before, our child was just one job I had. And yes, I treated him as a job. He was a product that we were raising, as I've said in a previous video and I just want you to be out there and pay attention to what's going on school in our area is fixing to start here in about a week yeah we're not even out of July and it's fixing to start now I don't know if it has anything to do with that monster that's wandering around for the last over two years or what but I just want you to say, hey, little Susie, hey, little Timmy, let me see what's in those papers. Let me see what they're going to teach you this year. Let me see what they're, don't let the wool be pulled over your eyes. Therefore, if something down the road comes, you can't say you weren't aware of it. No, you were aware of it. You just didn't want to do anything. And I'm saying, do it right now. Do it while it's just getting started. Don't let any of this stuff get pulled over your eyes take care of it now and then therefore little Timmy or Susie can always ask you hey mommy hey daddy you know what's what's going on over here what what is this what is this our son always asked questions he always wanted to know you know what is this about or what is that about I mean he was always one of those. He was he was an old soul, though. I mean, he, he just didn't... You couldn't pull anything over his eyes either. So, just to say this, when he was younger, just to let you know how smart he is, and still is, he wanted to be able to go around saying dumbass. And I said no. Literally, I said no. And literally, by the end of the day, he was going around saying dumas. It took me six months to realize... I'm a Dumas. So, anyway. But be an advocate for your child. And, you know, always be there for them. Be an advocate for your neighbor's kids. I mean, just don't let anything, you know, come out of the blue and shock all of you guys. Anyway, I'm Tammy Keith. And follow me at TammyKeith710 on Instagram. Everything else is down below in the description box. I really hope you like this. I really hope you would subscribe. All of this helps me out. And I will see you next time. Bye.